Hi everyone, it's Louise from Lulu Purple. For today's project, I'm going to be making a card and a box using the Hunky Dory Adorable Scoreboard. So this is the scoreboard and you can buy the Adorable Scoreboard handbooks as well. So it comes with a bone folder which sits in place on the top of the board. It's a little bit stiff to get out at first. And the actual board comes in inches on one side and on the other side you have centimetres. You can also get the Adorable Scoreboard Crafting Handbooks. There's five in total. This is the first one and it takes you through how to make different types of cards, different boxes and a few other projects. So it also gives you the measurements for your different cards. So if you're doing a gatefold, it would give you the measurements for that in this handy little box down here. I will just have a short flip through of some of the projects. For this card I'm going to be using the My Nomi Luxury Topper Set. This is from Hunky Dory. So you get two sheets of card, as you can see there and you get one sheet of the toppers which is there so these are all die cut so you can just push them out when you go to push your dies out just be careful put your finger over the point where it's attached and just gently push because you don't want to rip your die I then just cut off the little notches that are left to make it a bit neater. I'm going to be making the side stepper card and I need a piece of card 21 centimetres by 28 centimetres. I then turn my card to portrait and mark at 10.5 centimetres and draw a line down the middle of my card. With my card in the landscape position, I then score a line at 14 centimetres down the middle of the card. I then score at 7 centimetres from the middle line down to the pencil mark. I then score at 3 centimetres, 3 centimetres, then 4 centimetres. Again, only going down to the pencil line. Turning my card back to portrait, I want to cut from the first score line going across the page to the last score line at the bottom. I then rub out my pencil line. You then need to fold your card in half along the score line that goes across the whole of the middle of the page. And then with the stepper part, you want to do mountain and valley folds on them all and then burnish them off with your bone folder. So that is the stepper card part. I'll turn it over in a second, there you go. I then use the card from the kit to decorate my card base.
And that is the side stepper card all finished. Next, I'm going to use the other piece of card to make a box. So your scoreboards come with box making built-in technology. So one side says box lid and the other side says box base. So it's upside down, but turn it around for a second. There you go, box base. So if you want to make a six by six inch box, you need to cut your card at eight inches. So both pieces are at eight inches. You then put your card to the left hand side of the board and score at one inch on all four sides. You then get your other piece of card and put it to the right hand side of your scoreboard and score down at one inch on all four sides. Then use your bone folder to burnish down all the score lines on both bits of card. Then at each corner, you need to cut down one straight edge to the corner piece and cut out a small tab. I then use my Cosmic Shimmer acrylic glue to stick the corners and I'm using my little wooden pegs just to hold the corners in place until the glue dries. Once the glue has all dried, one part of the box will fit inside the other, making a lid and a base. I then decorate the box lid with the rest of my papers. On this next piece I am using my sticks to foam pads and I just used my acrylic glue over the top of the foam pads to give it a bit of wiggle room. This is just lifting this piece up so it adds to the dimension of the box. And that is this box project all finished. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Just to let you know, I now have a Buy Me A Coffee page. So if you enjoyed the video and you appreciate what I do, please don't feel pressured. But if you would like to buy me a coffee, that would be great. Thank you. If you would like to buy any of the products I've used in this video, they will be listed on my website blog post. I will leave a link in the description box below this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon so you never miss a new video. Links to my website, Facebook and more will be in the description box below. Or click on the end screen at the end of this video. Thanks again for watching and I hope you got inspired. Bye for now.